Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we are going to learn about the UUID. First, let's see what is UUID? A class that represents an immutable, universally unique identifier. A UUID represents a 128-bit value. There are so many things to learn about the UUID. So wait and watch this video will help you to understand. UUID is really awesome way to establish the identity of a record in a system. With the help of UUID, you can generate a unique ID for every system in the world. Let's discuss some more important things about the UUIDs like advantages and disadvantages. So basically, UUID is just a 36 character strings. So if you are maintaining UUID all the places, like if there are one too many or many to one relationships between tables, then it consumes a hell lot of memory. For example, if you have like 13,000 records, then just because of UUID, it will consume 1 MB of memory. So if there is a relationship between the tables, then you can assume in large scale system how much memory it will consume. So basically, UUID creates a memory issue. And because of memory issue, database performance will degrade. So if you are not going to store UUIDs in the database, just want to control the identity of records, then UUIDs are best. But in some scenario, UUIDs are much better than normal integer or long. For example, this is the URL. Here, you can easily assume that just changes the last number, you can fetch any book detail. So this can create a problem if some hacker tries to attack the system. I hope till now you got at least some idea about the UUID pros and cons. So if you choose UUID, choose carefully, then only it will be helpful. Now let's see how to change our long ID to UUID. So let's implement. Here is our existing project, which is already up and running. To find out the endpoints detail, let's open the readme md file. See, here are the endpoints. Let's verify the endpoints are working fine or not. See, this endpoint is working and giving one result. Even get by ID is also working fine. Now let's see how to replace long ID with UUID. So open book class. Here, just replace long with UUID in all the places. Now, need to replace all the places wherever long is using for the ID purpose. Open resource interface. Here also replace the long with uh, UUID. And replace this application JSON UTF8 value to application JSON value because earlier one is deprecated. Now, open book resource IMPL class. Here also replace the long to UUID. Now, open I service interface. And replace here also. Open book service IMPL class. Replace there as well. Now open book repository interface. Here also we need to replace. As we replaced all the places, so now click on save all. Oops, server is throwing some error. Let's fix this error first. Stop the server and open the problems tab. Looks like forgot to import UUID in book service IMPL class. Let's import. Now it's perfect. Let's start the server. See server started without any error. Now let's test all the endpoints. See now ID is coming in UUID format. Test other endpoints as well. See it's working. Test the post and put endpoints also. See, post is working fine. Data is saving properly. And see, now we have two records. So when we are executing get request, two book objects are coming. Test the put endpoint. See, put is also working fine. And you can see the price value modified. Let's check the delete also. See delete also working and book deleted successfully. So basically all the endpoints are working fine. Now let's stop the server. Just quickly review the changes. As you can see, we have not added so much changes, only just replace the long with the UUID. So same way you can also replace if you are okay with the memory issue. So choose careful, otherwise it will create a problem for the database. 
Let's modify the readme md file also because uh, now we are passing id as uuid. I hope this will help you when you refer this readme md file. I committed the changes. I will show you from where you can find these. Let's open our GitHub page. See here are the changes. I hope you learned something from this video. Next video, we will learn about the patch method. That is very important because very few tutorial you will get for the patch. And in case of performance, patch is really good compared to put. That's it for this video and thanks for watching.